Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight we've got an interesting one. I was looking through a bunch of articles and deciding which one to do, and this one kind of caught my attention. Are 3D printers and the advancement of 3D printing technology and the price availability going to make gun laws obsolete, at least in the existing system? This is a very interesting piece because even the ATF seems to be concerned about this because this entire article that I'm about to read for you is from an ATF agent. This is very interesting. So I'm going to dive into this in one second. I just want to say, guys, I am building out a brand new mobile studio. This is in a trailer that I'm converting to a brand new YouTube studio. I'm documenting the entire thing on my Instagram at Langley Outdoors. I'd love to have you guys follow along so we can be in it together. But enough of that. Let's dive into this because I want to get your opinions on this one. And everything's linked in the description box below. Now, before I start, I'm going to do my full-on YouTube disclaimer. I am not having any opinion on this. I am merely reporting an existing fact that was published by a well-known source. It is linked in the description box below. Again, no opinions, no thoughts, just reporting. Let's get it. This is what ATF said. It's not my fault. All right. Enough of that. Let's dive into this. Quote, Innovations in firearms have gone wild. ATF training Houston area police after, tick, oh, excuse me, after tracking uptick in 3D printed guns. Now, again, the 3D printed gun is an interesting thing, right? Because they're going after all the ghost guns like crazy. But that little nuance of 3D printed guns, that is an interesting segment. Quote, it's a game changer, said ATF agent Earl Griffith, who is training police on privately made firearms through 3D printers. Now, keep in mind, it's perfectly legal as of this moment right now to make your own firearm in the United States. It's not illegal at all. It is illegal to make them and sell them or manufacture for sale. That's a no-no. But making your own for your own personal use is not illegal, okay? Now, check this out. I'm going to walk you through this. And the ATF agent's very interesting what he says here. Houston, the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is tracking an upward trend of more privately made firearms or ghost guns used in crimes across the country. So that's their shtick, right? Ghost guns. Example of firearms are 3D printed machine guns and firearms built out of pieces of guns. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Because if you can just 3D print your way past the NFA, if you can 3D print your way past any type of gun law, why are you telling me that I can't actually protect myself with firearms and going after my rights when they're circumventing the rules that you say are in place to protect me? Again, ATF agent says that. I don't say that. What I'm saying is your system of control is being circumvented by technology. This happens a lot, but this is very interesting because they're coming out and attacking it head on. They're illegal fully automatic weapons, like the one used to shoot three Houston police officers less than six weeks ago. Police said the shooter had an illegal conversion switch attached to his gun. Again, the 3D printer circumvented the existing stops. This is where he names it specifically and gets really specific on the pricing. And you tell me if it's a good idea for us not to have firearms. 3D printers are becoming increasingly more affordable. The printer Griffith brings to his trainings, that's the ATF agent, cost around $200 and can print off an illegal auto conversion switch in about 40 minutes. Quote, it's a game changer, Griffith said. Now it's like anyone can do this. You don't need a special skill. And that part is important because if you're an anti-gun politician or an anti-gun control or a gun control advocate, your argument is the command system and the control system is there to keep us safe so we don't need to take up firearms for our own protection. That's the argument through and through. The entire system is based on a licensing scheme from the ATF, goes from manufacturer to distributor to FFL to customer. The entire thing is tracked, it's all FFL licensed, and the 4473 ends up with an FBI background check on you, the individual. There's not really a way around that, which is why it's so obscenely obnoxious when they say there's no background checks and you can buy guns at gun shows because there's gun show loophole or the Charleston loophole or whatever you want to call it. The entire thing is fully controlled, extremely tightly by the federal government, but this circumvents that. And this is why they're talking about it. While the auto conversion switches are illegal to possess in the U.S., Griffith said anyone who is legally able to carry a gun in the U.S. can buy a kit and build firearms from scratch. But one of the big concerns is the ability to trace these guns. What's interesting about that is they're trying to, trying to aim the reference at the 4473s or the form you fill out to buy the firearm. They want to know where it came from so they can get more information and more data. But the interesting part is this 3D printed thing that he's talking about circumvents that completely and it's completely legal. Is this about tracing or is this about stopping the crime that you're talking about? because that's an important distinction. Since the privately made firearms are not made by a licensed manufacturer, 
The guns don't have serial numbers, and in some instances when the gun is fired, a traceable imprint is not left on the shell casing, which is why Griffith is racing to train police now. The entire point here is if you cannot protect us as you promised you could, which again, I'm not an advocate of being protected by someone, I'm an advocate of protecting myself, but if the entire scheme of control that you've built in place over the numerous decades that you have is failing, if you cannot prevent people circumventing the NFA, what's the point of having it? You see my point. Again, I'm not putting a position on either one, YouTube. But what I'm saying is, if you can't maintain the control that you're promising to maintain, why are you going after my rights, or your rights for that matter? Because if 3D printing technology is circumventing everything that you've laid out as your perfect control, you may be made obsolete just through the passage of time and technology. And that's what's really interesting. I mean, could you imagine a world where distributors and manufacturers are actually making their own firearms or uh, plans sent to you as a licensed individual or a individual who can have a firearm or a second amendment and you can print it yourself in whatever you want? They don't do distribution anymore. They only do design. I mean, that's a pretty out there world, which would be, honestly, that'd be pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of this concept. Do you think the 3D printing technology and technologies like this are going to make gun laws obsolete? Or do you think they're going to find another way to do it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.